Hello, today's lesson is a polar bear. Very simple polar bear because I want us to be able to uh, play around with our oil pastels and practice blending them. Uh, so the supplies that you will need will be your pencil and eraser, uh, the paper uh, that I provided, and a, your set of oil pastels, and Kleenex, a pile of Kleenex. It will take probably three or four Kleenexes. You can use uh, paper toweling if you want, or Q-tips if that would be easier for you. So let's get started. The polar bear. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the black oil pastel, which is what you'll be uh, going over your pencil lines with. But again, I wanted you to have the option of uh, erasing. Couldn't think of that word. Erasing uh, the, the pencil lines if you want. So I'm going to go over what you've already got. This lesson is going to be about blending and to create some shading. And that's one of the reasons why I kept the shape nice and simple so we could focus not so much on the drawing but on the blending okay and then we've got the head of it now if you're as you're working if your black oil pastel needs to it the paper's getting to like like this it's too close to the end you can just peel it off easier if you have fingernails and you want to when you are getting ready to do your your oil pastel lines you want to make sure that you're making them uh dark enough okay now the polar bear has A snout right a muzzle and then has a nose and we'll be coloring that uh, black okay it has two eyes that are pretty small and if if it's easier for you we, you can color in the the black eyes with the sharpie and then it has two ears now oil pastels are a little messy so you might have to wash your hands a couple of times by the time we're done with this okay and then we're going to do the feet which I made large because they're the closest things to us. Now this polar bear looks like it might be kind of nice and cuddly, but as you know, in real life, they're very fierce. Okay. And I also want you to draw a, a horizon line here, but we're going to um, not go over that with the black. Okay. So when you are done with the uh, drawing of our simple polar bear, then I want you to go over with the oil pastel and while you're doing that I'm going to work on the eyes so you can see I'm giving it a little highlight no color zone now once your oil pastel is on the paper it's going to start smudging a little bit when you touch it. Hence my warning about your dirty hands. 
but it's that quality that we like about it. The other thing that you want to do is we're going to do a little highlight area on top of the nose. And again, if uh, because as you can see, the oil pastel makes pretty wide lines. So if you want to color in the nose with a black Sharpie, that might be a good idea too. Okay, so when you are ready uh, to start with the blending, I want you to use, uh, you can use a variety of things. You can use Kleenex, you can use uh, uh, Q-tips, if that's easier for you, or paper toweling. I prefer the Kleenexes, and I wrap it around my index finger, and then we're going to do some blending. <coughs> excuse me, to get some shading. So you want to work on the side of your black line that is towards the polar bear's body. Okay. So you have to think about, okay, this is a nice round bear. Where, where am I going to put the shading? Sorry about that. So working on the body and then we'll... Now we want it to look like it's coming around so we're going to do curved lines. <coughs> All right, so I'll wrap my finger again. And you're going to go from the line in, and you're going to make it curved, okay? So we're basically going to go all around and softening up that line on the inside and then bringing it down around here. You can do a little bit of that right there as well. And then we're going to go on the other side. And you can turn your paper around. That will help you not put your hand on the sheet of paper. See how easily the oil pastel moves around? Soften that some of that up as well. Bring a little bit more in. This is where you can just kind of play around with it to where you like it to be. Okay. And then below the chin, that's going to be kind of the darkest. And what, 
I just put my finger through there so you can move it around on a piece of, of Kleenex. And so you want to make that a little darker so you dig into that line a little bit more with your finger. And if you want, if you want that a little bit darker, you can add a little more black and then soften it out, soften it out with your finger. And you just have to work at it a little bit. And then there's going to be some more on the bottom side of his ears, right? Think about where there would be shade. And the same on the other ear. And just a little bit of shading on that. So are we starting to make it look like it's got some depth and, and it's a round guy? All right, so then we're going to do kind of the same technique here, but on the bottom of the snout. Uh, yeah, the snout. This was the head, this was the snout. sort of fade up there and then we're going to do a little bit of it on the bottom of the nose okay Now we want to make the inside of our ears all black. And turn that around. Use your oil pastel again. There we go. And I'm going to get a clean but I'm going to kind of blend that out just a little bit too. Okay, so now we have the feet to go. And then we'll be done with our beast. So we're going to go down in short little strokes. And we'll blend out just a little bit between the toes. And then do the same on this foot.
and then go back and touch up anything that you that you want to touch up. So here's our here's our bear. I think he looks pretty good. I'm going to make it just a little bit darker towards the edges there. All right. So, the next is the background. And our set does not have purple, but it does have a dark blue or a medium blue. So, I think we'll work on on that. So, we're going to Now we're, we've got a line here, our horizon line, but we're not going to make it black because I want to show you how to blend that. So this is going to be snow down here. Okay, so we're going to do a section. And then we're going to, away from the bear, we're going to add another blue. And then we're going to get, get a clean Kleenex. You don't want to get black on this. And then we're going to blend that. And we're going to push it down to where it's going to be meeting our snow. Now, Keep it away from the black line as much as possible so you don't blend in black in there. And you can go in circles if you want to. And then when you're happy with that section, and if you want, you can put more... Uh, take more paper off and you can use the side and you can go back over what you've already done so that you can blend the new section together so on the larger sections it's easier if you use the side of your oil pastel and just hold it like this and then move it along and I'm going to do the same with my lighter blue so by layering on colors and then blending them together you're giving a, a much richer sort of look to the background. Whoops. Keep losing control of my paper here. Just repeat until we hit the other horizon line.
then layer your color. Now there's also a lighter blue that I might add to it, depending on how I like how this is coming out. And then we're going to feather it into the snow. There's a little bit of lighter blue. Let's try putting a little white, like circles. They're not going to show up a lot, but we can kind of give it a another layer that looks like some snow. Just random. There we go. Okay, and then carefully. Now, it looks like I have a little bit of some lines on my pencil. And you're going to have to kind of, you don't want to use your finger because you could smear. And I do have a get real close, but don't. is add a little bit of color under here because some gray because it is underneath the bear. All right. Be real careful. Might even be better to leave your your pencil lines as is. Uh, but anyway, so I got a little dirty, but not too much. It washes off quite easily. So here's our exercise in blending uh, oil pastels. Thank you.